Hello, good afternoon. Daniel Thomas here again from the Love March Movement. You know, we're fasting every single week, 6 a.m. to 6 p.m. every Wednesday. Please join us. You see me every single week, you know, we're going hard, we're storming the throne of God, and we're praying for Jamaica, praying, praying, praying for Jamaica like never before. The goal is to raise up an army of intercessors that will just be storming the throne of God on various issues, especially um, sexual purity and family, which is the essence of what we stand for here at the Love March Movement. All right, so this week, we're going to jump right into it. Now, this week, we're focusing on the courts. The courts, the courts, the courts. And you know, we do it in this format. Three points, three people every single week, right? So just to jump right into that, the courts, the courts, the courts. The first court case we want to be praying about is the one where CVM and TVJ are being sued um, for refusing to show um, advertisements that promote homosexuality as normal, right? So... That court case is, is going to be very, very soon. I really want to be praying about that. Um, really want to be praying that the persons that are defending TVJ and CPM, that God will give them wisdom, that they, the, the whole court proceeding, that it would not be biased, but that, um, you know, that it would just go, that it would just go well and that it would end well in terms of, you know, not forcing our our TV stations to show ads that the well first of all that promote something that leads to illegal behavior right because buggery is still illegal in Jamaica so how are you going to have a buggery law and promote homosexuality which uh, in in the male the males would would you know involve um, buggery. That's that's just ridiculous. But yeah, let's just be praying about the CBM TVJ court case. Be praying for them, please, please, please be praying for that court case and those TV stations. You know that they'll be given wisdom as they put stuff on on television. All right. The second thing we want to be praying for, yeah, Javed Jaga is suing the Jamaican government, claiming that the buggery law is a breach of his constitutional right to privacy. Serious, serious thing happening that is on June 25th. I really want to be praying about this case. Um, the implications of the buggler being removed are humongous. Just to name a few, we are talking about the complete restructuring of society to declare to our country that homosexual behavior is normative behavior. Um, and that's what the law does. The law says what is normal, what is acceptable. And if we say that, you know, if we remove the buggery law, we're, we're definitely saying that buggery is um, normal and acceptable for society. And that has several spin-offs. The craziest ones, I think, are, you know, the, the ones that I am most concerned about are freedom of speech where persons that disagree with homosexuality, you know, it, it turns, it really becomes an issue for us to speak up, right? And that is like the average man in Jamaica disagrees with, with, with homosexuality and um, buggery, right? Believe, we believe that it's wrong, right? That's, that's what I'm hearing. Um, if the buggery is removed, then eventually there would be a serious strain on the ability to just say that, that based even even if you're a christian based on the word you know romans one says homosexuality is wrong there that be those those words can actually be punished um i've seen stuff like that in england and in canada right um other other crazy spin-offs are like the impact that removing the book gorilla would have on the um the the Ministry of Education, right? Well, the you know the education system itself, where if we are saying that homosexuality and buggery are normal and are acceptable by society as alternative um, alternative behaviors, then we have to teach that in schools. That means that we would effectively have back an HFLE curriculum like what it was before. Um, probably even, probably even more, um, more explicit 
because then it would be straight out legal to engage um, students with, with these kinds of questions. And what we see abroad where stuff like this are happening is that there are sex education classes taking place even, you know, from very, very young and in Canada it's even compulsory in homes in the homeschool situation, which is just ridiculous. Right? So you can't even shield a child from that legally in Canada. And, and there there are serious implications for that. In California, teachers are being forced to teach kindergarten students um, that homosexuality is right and normal. And we don't want them to think they're in a Jamaica. We just don't want it. We want to preserve our democratic position at this point. And we want to we want to preserve the freedom of speech, freedom of conscience, freedom of religion, and we want to protect our children. Right? Very, very important stuff. Alright, so that's just the second point. Still, let's be praying for the court case with Javed Jagai. June 25th is the actual date. And it's in the Supreme Court that day. Um, the third thing that we want to be praying about straight. We want to be praying about the prayer. The prayer initiative that Prayer 2000 um, has put forward. You know, calling the whole country to prayer. You know, it is a strategic prayer journey right and the next one the next one that the love march movement is promoting you know which is the next one in real life as well and we want everybody to come and see seriously be praying about this stuff the next one will be june 5th that's wednesday june 5th so we will actually be fasting that day we want to be there while we fast um and it will be at emmanuel apostolic in portmore pines right as Emmanuel Apostolic, and we're talking Wednesday, June 5th, 10 a.m. Right? So, all the people, them, were just done exams, where you know, say, you can actually go somewhere on a Wednesday in the day. Um, please turn out. Please turn out. Just to read that again, Emmanuel Apostolic, Portmore Pines, Wednesday, June 5th, 10 a.m at um, Emmanuel Apostolic Portmore Pines. Now, we really want to be praying that that these prayer sessions would go really well, um, that a lot of persons would turn up, want to pray other persons would be serious um, about it, and really just go hard before the Lord, and, um, you know, be fasting and praying, because th these, these current cases are serious, serious stuff. They can really cause the restructuring of our entire society if we do nothing, right? Um, I just wanted to say the petition to the Prime Minister will actually be there as well. And I encourage everybody, if you have not yet signed the petition to the Prime Minister, to keep the Bogre law. You need to sign that document. You need your family to sign that document. You need your church to sign that document. You need... You need the school to, to sign that document, right? Anybody over 18 years old needs to sign that document, right? We're going hard with it. Um, we'll soon touch the road harder with it in terms of hitting the plazas and stuff, right? But we're going to be at these particular events. And guys, so much is happening. If you, if you realize that you have a, some kind of free slots this this summer, volunteer with the Love March movement. We, there is so much work to do. We need the help. Volunteer. We put you through a quick interview process. Um, you know, and pray and make sure I say, you know, everything, everything good. And and you know, just join the team. And we'll we'll be doing a whole lot of stuff this summer. Um, and we want to we want to rally the army. So yo, please join the team. You see me? Um, and sign a petition and get people to sign a petition to the Prime Minister to keep the Bogre law, right? Like our, our Facebook page, Love March uh, 2012 on Facebook, or email us at lovemarch2012jam at gmail.com if you want to know more about the petition as well. Now, for the three people that we're going to be praying for, yo, three people, guess who? Guess who? Guess who? Guess who? Javed Jagai. We're going to be praying for Javed Jagai. Did you know that? Yeah. Here we're going to be doing that. All right. We're praying for Javed Jagai. Um, I, I am really, really praying for Javed Jagai. I really want him to, 
come to the Lord, um, cause that would that will be a, such a powerful testimony when it actually happens. Um, so let's all be praying for His soul. Java would really care about you, but we just disagree what you're doing, right? That, that, that's just a straight out love match movement stance right there, right? We 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 love you, but we disagree with what you are doing, right? Um, so everybody, let's just be praying for Javed that his heart would be touched by the Most High God and that there would just be a radical turnaround of his of his life, right? The second person we want to be praying for is the Honorable Reverend Ronald Thwaites who has been doing an excellent job um, in standing up for righteousness in his position as Minister of Education, right? If you looked at the document, the sectoral debate, I encourage everybody to look through it and see exactly uh, what is laid out in it. But, you know, there's some just, some powerful words, powerful, powerful stuff laid out there. They're saying strictly no to conduct in schools, no to, um, you know, grooming children for same-sex unions, um, you know, promoting marriage, you know, between a man and a woman as the fundamental structure on which a family is built, some serious hardcore biblical truths that, you know, are really being lost all over the world. Really just want to be praying for um, Honorable Minister, Reverend uh -huh. Ronnie Thwaites, right? Really want to be praying for him that he will be strengthened and protected um, from the fiery darts of the enemy. Cover him under the blood, easy man, that the Lord will just continue strengthening him. All right, the third person who wants to be praying for, Angeline Jackson. Yo, we don't pray for Angeline in such a long time, you see me? So we just say straight, I'm going to pray for Angeline this week, this Wednesday, right? Angeline Jackson, um, I think she, well, you know, she is part of the leadership of Jarris, which is Jamaica, um, for freedom from religious imposition on the state, or something like that. You see me? But just be praying for her that her heart would come to the Lord, um, and that she would come to know Jesus Christ for real. All right, yo, love uno, stay strong, have your devotions, fall in love with Jesus. The most important thing is your relationship and your walk with God, right? Spend the time and have the devotions and encounter God in a deeper way this summer. And let us transform this country for Jesus. Bless.